Hi friends. Today we discuss two very interesting cases of heart tumor. First case was an interesting uh, case who came to us with a continuous unexplained fever. And uh, second case has had a stroke for which he she was investigated. So both these cases had an interesting presentation. The first case which was presented to us for investigations regarding her continuous low grade fever. She was put on physical checkup and then investigations and cardiac investigations showed that she had a suspicious mass in uh, one of the chambers in the heart. Further investigations led to understand that uh, this patient had a tumor in the left atrium. Second patient has had a stroke some time back in her native town and then she recovered from the stroke and after recovery she was investigated for this stroke. All investigations were found to be normal but the cardiac investigation which was done by echocardiography again showed a mass in left atrium. This mass was further investigated by cardiac MRI whether it was a clot or a tumor. In both these cases cardiac MRI showed that this mass was a cardiac tumor what we call as a, as a benign tumor named as myxoma which will be confirmed after histopathology of this tumor. So both these patients underwent surgery and uh, the tumor in both these patients were found to be in left atrium, the upper chamber of the heart on the left side, left atrium. And the first lady who had a fever, this uh, uh, tumor was attached to interatrial septum and uh, the, lady, uh, the person who had a stroke, this tumor was attached to uh, on, the, on the superior surface of the left atrium. These tumors ranged in the first lady, the tumor was of a smaller size. The stroke patient had a almost cherry sized tumor in the um, where, where it was attached to the superior surface of the left atrium. So both these tumors were, were uh, excised, removed through transatrial approach via interatrial septum and any other tumor was also searched in, in, in ventricles or in the right atrium or right ventricle. It was not found to be. A mitral valve was normally functioning. So after excision of these tumors, they were sent for histopathology, which confirmed the diagnosis of myxoma tumor of the heart. And patients, both these patients had a success, uh, uneventful recovery and they were discharged home on seventh day. What I want to discuss that is that this benign tumor, what we call as a cardiac myxoma, is comprises of 1% of all tumors of the uh, body and uh, majority cardiac tumors, this is the one which is the myxoma of the heart. It's a benign tumor, but it has a propensity of uh, metastasizing anywhere in the body. And that's where either it uh, gives rise to strokes, or uh, any other uh, uh, embolic phenomena which can occur because of the embolization of the tumor. This tumor is usually a friable and it is it has a stalk with, um, uh, which is attached to one of the, uh, the chambers wall and uh, it grows gradually and uh, it may it is as it is friable it can embolize anywhere or it can obstruct one of the valves like if it is in left atrium it can block mitral valve and give rise to symptoms of uh, mimicking mitral stenosis or obstruction of mitral valve. Uh, it can damage the valve and which can cause uh, uh, leakage and uh, it can happen and it also if it is in right atrium it can embolize in, in the pulmonary arteries and can give rise to pulmonary hypertension. So all these complications can happen and it is important that uh, we should investigate all these patients uh, uh, from a cardiac point of view and ECO is a diagnostic investigation for these kind of uh, masses which are present in the heart. 
and only differential diagnosis is a clot, uh, blood clot. And uh, to remove this differential diagnosis, cardiac MRI is usually uh, done so to know the the more or less uh, confirmatory diagnosis of a tumor in the heart. And of course, histopathology is the diagnostic for these kind of things. And treatment by surgical excision by open heart surgery is the treatment of choice. And patient is is totally cured of the disease because this is a benign tumor. It is not a malignant tumor. And uh, only one or two percent risk is there of reference of uh, uh, myxoma in the heart again. But uh, regular screening on uh, timely checkups can also uh, give us uh, feedback whether tumor is recurring or not. And at the same time, this is also known to run in families. So these families should be screened for any kind of tumors in the siblings or in parents so that we can catch them early and uh, can give them successful surgical recovery. Thank you very much. This is about the tumor which I operated some time back for, for these two patients. I have a very large series of uh, uh, these tumors which are removed from different chambers of the heart from right ventricle, from right atrium, double chambers, right atrium and left atrium, two tumors and one very rare case of a myxoma from left ventricle. So it's a uh, over the last 30 years I have done more than 60 to 70 such cases and uh, have been, been very successfully operated by me. Thank you very much.